Whenever my next guest performs, hundreds of celebrities show up, and they're all him. His amazing comic impressions have made him a popular name at comedy clubs, corporate events, and in Las Vegas. You can also see him in a great new Christian film called Faith Wins. Would you please welcome the very funny Rich Natoli. Geez, I'm sorry to bother you. My name is Columbo. You know, my wife and I sat down the other night. We were talking about all the craziness today. I, I put together a little list I'd like to share with you. These are the top five shortest books of 2023, right here. Number five, Smart Marketing Advice by Bud Light and Target. <laughs> Number four, Why You Should Have a Baby in Your 80s by Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. Number three, Favorite Hiding Places by Joe Biden. (laughs) Number two, Reasons We Would Not Want to See Elon Musk Fight Mark Zuckerberg. (laughs) And the number one shortest book of 2023, I'm sorry to bother you, The Woke Book of Wisdom. Thank you very much. I love our national anthem. You know, I'd like to do for you right now a very special version. This is every United States president from John F. Kennedy all the way up to the present, current president, each doing a bit of our anthem. Oh, I say, can you see by the dawn's early light in what so proudly we hail? Hail the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. (laughs) And the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free. And the home of the brave. God bless America, and let's make America great again. Come on, man! <laughs> hey guys, are <laughs> I'd like to do for you. I'd like to do for you some of my favorite comedians. On the count of three, everybody, give me a here's Johnny. We'll bring back Johnny Carson. Ready? One, two, three. I'd, uh, I'd, I'd like to start off by saying that uh, Doc Head and I did, did the Tonight Show for some 30 plus years. That's right, and we would travel this great country of ours. Uh, I remember one January, Doc Head and I went, went to Washington, D.C. Uh, I couldn't help but notice it was so cold. Funny you should ask. <laughs> it was so cold in Washington, D.C. I, I swear I saw a politician with his hands in his own pockets. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then Jay Leno did The Tonight Show for like 22 years. Here's Jay Leno for you. Well, there's something that was in the paper. Did you read this in the paper, anybody? Um, well, uh, apparently Kamala Harris is taking a trip to Egypt. Did you hear about this? Kamala's going to Egypt. And the press asked her why she wanted to go to Egypt. She said she wanted to go to Egypt because she's never been to South America before. <laughs> right now, uh, I was watching The Wizard of Oz, you know, about a week ago, and I'm thinking, we got to update The Wizard of Oz, put some current celebrities in there. I'd like to do for you right now, my version of The Wizard of Oz stars Robert De Niro as the Scarecrow, <laughs> Joe Pesci as the Tin Man, Dustin Hoffman as Rain Man, as the Lion. Playing a part of Dorothy will be Mike Tyson. (laughs) And the wizard will be played by Donald Trump. (laughs) And now, the Wizard of Oz. (laughs) That's right, it's me, the great, the powerful, the amazing, the man who's gonna make America great again. Trump of Oz, come up and speak. 
Well, basically, uh, Mr. Wizard is uh, me, Dorothy, the small, the meek, and the tattooed. <laughs> I have a couple of requests. First of all, I would like an ear for Evander Holyfield. <laughs> Take your time, folks. For myself, some financial planning courses. Okay, okay, I say we whack him. I say I take this ax and we whack the wizard right in his big mouth, okay, okay, okay? Whack him right in his big mouth, okay, okay? I know that he's in there and that he's all alone. <laughs> now, now, are you talking to me, huh? I told you before, nobody whacks the wizard. I don't have a brain and I know that. Isn't that right, Lion? Oh, well, nobody whacks a wizard. Definitely not the wizard. Where's it gonna take me to Kmart? Where's it gonna buy me underwear? Let me watch Judge Wapner, Judge Wapner. All right, I have heard your request. If you want your wishes granted, you must bring me the broomstick of Nancy Pelosi. Thank you very much. Oh, Rich, that was fantastic. <laughs> We're so glad to have you and all your friends. Oh, thank you. That's <laughs> thank pretty you so cool. much. My pleasure. You know, the neat thing about inviting you, we get like 25, 30 <laughs> celebrities to come with you. Thank you for being oh, here. Oh, my, my pleasure. You know who my idol is? You know, my mentor, a good friend of mine, Rich Little. Who we we love, love Rich Little. And he's been on this show four times. Oh, we love and, him. And he's a great friend of mine, and I love him so what much. What a great guy. Yes, As are you. Thank you so much. Hey, when you visit Las Vegas, be sure to catch Rich Natoli's great show, Voices of a Generation. And you can also keep up with him online. You can book him for your event in your own hometown and learn about his new movie that I can't wait to see called Faith Wins. All of those connections are through Huckabee.tv. Go there and we'll put you in touch with all of what Rich is doing. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video. And there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.